Right, hi guys, welcome back to the Moni Auctionman and today we are at Crown Rust Proofing with the RX-8. We're going to give it some rust treatment today, that's Rob at the front of the car that's going to be inspecting it. We've literally just pulled it onto the ramp so the process will begin shortly. It's just uh, opening the boot, opening the bonnet, I think we take the cap, it's out the back, the rear lights come out, so it's quite a thorough job. And uh, I should be filming you through the process of how it goes, how it's done, what the treatment is, how it works, etc. And uh, yeah, so far so good. It was literally, I arrived half an hour early, it's gone straight onto the ramps, the car before me finished early, so it's been perfect so far. And uh, yeah, already had a chat to Rob prior to him getting the car on the ramp as well, so yeah, I will film the process as it goes along and try and ask questions and see how far we can go and how much information you need and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, I've only been here about 10 minutes. The rear lights are already off, the carpet's already out of the boot, the boot lining's already off as well. There's all the bits of trim there, all the leftover bits. As you can see, he's already getting it in the door shuts there and into the door itself. And now that's the reason why I have to take the rear lights off, it's so you can get all the way into down the side there and down the scuttle panels. With a really long stick. <laughs> That's to get inside the inner arches, so obviously protect those from rust, they're common spots for rusting on these. So Rob's just pointed out something really interesting, which is of course, remember when Rob popped the long stick down there to get inside the rear arches and coat it and cover it? Well if you look around now, over time of course, and this has only been 20-30 minutes, I don't know if you can quite see but there's little wet patches there. It's coming out of this hole here. This is the crown rust protection. And it's seeping out of there, which means that it's got, it's worked its way from the squirt with the nozzle all the way down to the bottom and covering everything in here as well. So that is how it spreads. So it really does protect everywhere. And uh, get a quite nice coverage on the inside as well, the bits that you can't see. So yeah, squirted in here, and it's already ran all the way down to here and he's covering all of this nicely inside. We've been doing around the fuel filler cap there, make sure that doesn't rust.
literally nothing gets left untouched. So now according to Rob, this is where it gets interesting, this is where the wheels come off, this is where the inner linings come off, and it gets all cleaned up and prepped in all the grubby bits, and the bits where uh, a lot of the dirt harbours. So we've taken the inner arch line off this side at the moment, and as you can see, my car is actually really solid in here. These are the areas where it tends to rust, but look at the crap that is harvested down here, look. All the crap there. Thankfully, no rust, and it's really solid. But I'm just going to show you, if you leave it, it'll just get worse. So yeah, that's why we're here today, to uh, fix it up a bit, make it uh, rust proof for... How long approximately does this rust proofing last? At least two years on the underside, and at least four years inside of the cavities. Brilliant. Yeah, and then from there you just come back and top yeah. it up again? Yes, and uh, it's a lifetime warranty then. Oh right, okay, brilliant. That's really interesting to know, so yeah, keep on top of it, keep coming back when your two years are up, and uh, yeah, lifetime warranty as well. So that's Rob just going around with a air blower at the moment, and they're going just to blow all the loose bits and all the crap out before he applies the treatment on it, make sure the treatment is bonded exactly to the metal and where it needs to go, and not just coating leaves. So took the underside off and everything, so all this is uh, nice and clear. There you go, all that shiny, lovely, oily protection squirted onto anything. Now, I was reading up on the website and this stuff doesn't actually set, so it constantly moves around and gets into every place of the car um, just by general movement and just how it settles. So, once it's squirted on, it stays sticky for two years. And then, as Rob said earlier, time for a top up then. Yeah, it's looking good so far. I'm really, really pleased. Rob's such a lovely chap. He's been uh, noting all the problem areas with our X8s, what to look out for, where the rust is. He's been giving a, my car a good stab with a screwdriver to make sure it's not rotten in the usual places. And thankfully, mine is is really solid. So uh, really happy with that. I have got some rust creeping in, but nothing too major. And we've discovered a drive shaft leak as well, which I, I didn't know about. But now I know I can get that fixed. Um, Rob does says, of course, when you squirt the protection on the car obviously it masks things up such as leaks so might be worth going to get your car inspected or lifting it up on a ramp prior to you coming here because obviously any leaks that are undiscovered that remain undiscovered shall remain undiscovered once you put the uh, protection on because obviously it's a waxy nature it's an oily nature and it'll mask any uh, leaks that you may have so good that we spotted that drive shaft leak before squirting away and I can get that resolved and uh, yeah but yeah, it's, uh, it's going well so far. Really, really happy. Really happy with the car as well. I'm happy it is solid. Um, good to know that I'm putting the protection on before it's too late. Because um, otherwise there wouldn't be much point. But yeah, cracking on. So Rob has just taken off the sill guard here, which gives him brilliant access to all these little holes to be able to squirt the sill and protect. Now normally he says what happens is these covers um, obviously trap any rain, dirt and mud and it rusts through there but thankfully mine is very very solid so happy with that and uh, yeah it's a, little, it's, it's a bit of a brutal process getting them off, he has to use a hammer but he knows what he's doing, he, he says he does about two of these a week on average, you can see he's just knocking the other side off there but um, yeah he says he does about two of these a week so he knows what he's doing, he knows how to do it without breaking clips and things, none of mine are broken, look at that, a full rail there and uh, 
Yeah, lovely job so far. Right, I hope I don't go for copyrighters in the background, but um, there's some 90s bangers on at the moment. So in here is where you can come and sit while your car gets prepped. Obviously I was like an interested kid. Um, the amount of questions I've asked Rob, he's been so patient, he's been brilliant. But yeah, this is the uh, sitting area, the waiting room, and I'll spin you around. And you've got some biscuits, you've got some celebrations, cups, you've got tea, you've got coffee, you've got water. Even got a microwave if you want to bring any food with you to warm up. That's all there as well. There's your fridge there. So it literally caters for anyone, for anything. So lovely little waiting area. As you can be seen there. All this for, is free to use for customers. Milk, soft drinks in the fridge. So absolutely wonderful service. Rob, <laughs> such a friendly guy. Uh, yeah, so we'll show you at the end when the car is done. And uh, on my way home and leave my final thoughts. But I'm very impressed so far. It's been brilliant. So it is now the day after. I am back from Crown Rust Protection and once again I'm very very happy with the service. So I thought I'd just show you around now the day after because Rob says that what tends to happen is um, all the oil and the protection that is inside the car will obviously find its way out. Like you saw on the ramp, uh, of course it'll find its way out. So uh, he always advises, he says to his customers that if, you, if you're parking it in a nice garage afterwards or a driveway you don't want to get mucky, um, make sure you put something down on the floor prior to the car coming back because it will leak. And you can see down here, look, the, the goodness that is the uh, rust protection seeping through seeping out of the bottom there's a puddle there as well look and uh, yeah something that you know that he spotted i tried showing you on the day but unfortunately i couldn't use the footage because it was uh, too dark on the ramp but i've got a bit of rust here this is where my rust is now he said that's a bit concerning on the rear arch because normally it rusts from the inside out so once it comes to this point it means it's all rusted all the way down thankfully though when he took all the inner lining off and everything it was absolutely fine. So mine is rusted from the outside, which is really lucky. So I need to get that repaired. Uh, Rob has offered me a uh, complimentary comeback in six months. I'm going to get this repaired over winter, get it properly done, cut out, new metal in. And he says that he'll come back and just touch these bits up for me and get that done, which is really, really cool of him. Massively appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, so that is really the only rust he spotted and it didn't lead to anything more dangerous or anything more expensive or extensive, I should say. So overall incredibly happy with the service absolutely fantastic so yeah overall really really happy with the service absolutely overwhelmed with it to be honest rob was such a knowledgeable guy knew his stuff had his enthusiasm his uh, experience came from panel beating and panel fitting prior to him starting crown approximately six years ago so he knows how to take cars to pieces and back again obviously with the mazda rx8 as mentioned in the video it does up to two a week RX-8 so he does really know him like the back of his hand so anyone that's got an RX-8 I highly recommend it but not just an RX-8 anyone that's got a car that is wanting to keep it for more than three years like you know everyone's just got this throwaway society these days and we've got a new car on lease and then three years later the sack it off and get another one so if honest to god if you bought a car and you plan on keeping it for more than three years Get it, get it rust protected because it's the car killer, isn't it, in the UK? It really is. Um, so anything quirky, anything novelty that you've got and something that's sentimental to you or anything, just get it booked in. So with, of course, the Mazda RX-8, the RX-8 Owners Club uh, gets a discount. So I pay £244 for my service. For a medium-sized car or an RX-8 without ownership, it will cost you approximately £275. So it's well worth doing. And also, if you are have got a quirky car and you're in an owner's club, it might be worth asking them if there is any way of getting some sort of discount or is there already a discount available? And if not, can they speak to Crown Rust Protection and try and get some sort of discount with your annual membership because it is well worth it and it really needs to be done to every car to keep them going. So, like I said, I was really lucky with mine. My rust spot is just that little back bit on the driver's side and thankfully it's no worse than that. I'll keep on top of it. Now the rest of the underneath of the car is protected from any rust at all. Come back in two years, get the underneath topped up again, go back in four years, get the whole process redone, and for the sake of a couple of hundred pound every few years, you're going to be saving potentially thousands in rust repair 
or the car is beyond repair and you just need to scrap it. So I'd highly recommend getting it done. And once again, thank you so, so much to Crown. All their um, information is in the description below, their address, how to find them, uh, the telephone number, postcode, etc., is all in the description below. So be sure if you've got a car, get it booked in before this year's out. It does two cars per day. 9 a.m. till 1 p.m. is one booking, and 1 p.m. till 5 p.m. is another booking. Of course, like such as me, got there a little bit earlier. The car before me finished sooner, so I got straight in on the ramps. Of course, that can't happen all the time, but if you allow approximately the four-hour booking window for your car to be done, as, as, as you saw in the video as well, there was loads of snacks, there was cups of teas, coffee, pot noodles, anything, you know, for you to enjoy whilst in the reception waiting, or you can like me watch the watch the process being done so highly recommend getting it done guys so thanks a lot for watching i hope this has been an interesting video um and i really hope it helps people decide on making the right decision ultimately of get, get the car done get it done so thanks a lot for watching guys and as always much love